live animals that's a that's a good sign probably shouldn't do that guys I told you like a million years ago we were gonna put some nano fish into the nano blue dream tank over here okay and it's been a super long time I mean it's been months and months and months and I just didn't do it well in part I was waiting for this package to arrive okay we finally got our nano fish for this tank and we have a bunch of rasboras two different types actually we have I believe some chili rasboras and some exclamation point rasboras I don't know which is which here because they are freaking out and we need to get them acclimated and out of these breather bags ASAP these might just be the perfect fish to help take out some of the copepods that are running amok in this tank. I don't know. Either they will or they won't because they're too small and they can't even fit the tiny little copepods in their mouths. We'll just, we'll just have to see and find out. No DOAs in this bag, but their color is obviously completely gone because they're freaking out. They'll get that back though, unless those are the exclamation points. In that case, they don't really have a ton of color. This bag also looks good. This must be the chili rasboras because there's there's less of them. So we, we talked about that. Yeah, okay, perfect. So got my bucket over here with tank water from the super blue tank. It's just, you know, only about a gallon or two, but we're gonna put these guys in here and get them acclimated. Temperature wise, they're pretty close. I mean, everything is, Everything's about 72 right now, so we'll get these guys in there and we'll let them acclimate for a little while and then we'll put them in the tank. We got even more rasboras in here. I think I, I think I'm confused. So maybe all that we just opened was the exclamation point rasboras and now I have the chili rasboras. Okay, okay. Okay, so we don't have three things. We have two things actually. This is getting confusing. Let's see what's in here. Oh boy, okay, I know, what the, I know what those are too, okay. So guys, the Rasboras have been in the Super Blue Dream shrimp tank for about a week now. Let's scan the sidewalls and see if we can find any copepods. The little dots you see there are tiny snails, okay? But I'm not seeing any copepods. There's no bugs in this aquarium anymore. They could be down way here hiding in the substrate, but even if I get down here, I can't see anything. So while the copepod problem was not something that was lethal to the shrimp in this tank, like so many other pests in shrimp tanks can be, like planaria and hydra, I still wanted to get rid of them, and I wanted to get rid of them in a natural way, provide some food to these new fish, and they have 100% done the job. I also don't think I mentioned where these fish came from, guys. We pulled them out of boxes that came from Flip Aquatics. You guys know that Rob and the team over there has been sponsoring this tank as well as the desert tank over my right shoulder. They've been helping me out a ton. You guys know that you can get a 10% discount. It's linked down in the description. Anything you want to get on flipaquatics.com, go check it out. And yeah, you can get nano fish now at Flip Aquatics. So your favorite online shrimp provider is now providing awesome nano fish for your aquarium. They don't just have these, they have a bunch other ones. Go check them out, link is down below. Before I do any more close-ups on the fish and anything else in this tank, I gotta clean the walls though because these snails are a little distracting. There's some algae that I need to get rid of. Let's do that real quick. All right, that was probably not as dramatic as I thought it would be. There wasn't a lot to clean, but it does look a lot better. Here's a closer look at the chili rasbora. So you're gonna notice a nice deep red color to them. Each fish is a little bit different. The markings are very similar though. If we look closely at the exclamation point rasbora, you'll notice that there is a lack of color. There's still a little bit of red. It's just very, very subtle, and there is fewer black marks on the side of the fish. It's almost like they have one black line, and then another black dot on the tail, hence the exclamation point. Their body plans are very similar with the only difference really being the marking and the coloration on them. And I just think that they look really good together. Here's a shot now of just a kind of a mixture of the two. I think it really balances everything out in the tank and they just go really well together. If I remember correctly, there should be about 20 of the exclamation points and 10 of the chilies in this tank. 
We could definitely add some more here, but I didn't want to go throwing like 60 of these guys all in at once. Maybe I'll call up Rob in a couple of weeks and get a few more. These fish really aren't going to get any bigger, and since their mouths are super tiny, you have to make sure their food source is also super tiny. So the copepods worked out well. They were small enough, and it was a hunting experience that the fish got to get. That's really cool, but all the other times that these fish get food, they're going to be just getting micro pellets. This is Hikari or the fluval bug bites. This is the small type. So those foods are really good for these fish, but you can always feed them a wide variety of other small foods. If this is one of the first videos you're seeing of my channel, then this tank might not mean that much to you. I'll put some links for the setup of this aquarium, as well as the addition of the blue shrimp. Um, this tank has gone through a lot of changes. Right now, it's kind of a a mess to be honest with you but it doesn't look that bad I mean it's just kind of like an overgrown nature aquarium so for a lot of you guys this might be old news but I get questions about this all the time uh, this is Monte Carlo growing on Dragonstone there's Monte Carlo and baby tears mixed down here in the carpet and this is Hygropinatophyta in its really nice looking submerged form and that makes up the plants in this aquarium and I did mention it, but there's also a ton of Blue Dream shrimp in this aquarium breeding. There's just a million of them. And these nano fish, the chili rasboras and the exclamation point rasboras, are not going to pick on any shrimp that's anywhere close to this size. Really tiny, tiny, small babies might be targets for food, but there's so many hiding places down in this carpet that any tiny small shrimp, they have a hiding place. So I don't think I'm gonna see any decrease in my numbers of shrimp because there's just so many places to hide. Pretty much all nano fish are gonna be able to take advantage of super tiny shrimplets, um, but we still consider them to be dwarf shrimp safe because these guys are gonna have no trouble getting along together. And just a size comparison here, there's an adult shrimp there's gonna be no issue because that's almost about the same size as the fish that's in here. These are smaller, younger adults. I wouldn't call them shrimplets by any means because a shrimplet could be way tinier than that. These guys aren't gonna have any problem either because they're about half the size of the fish, but those really tiny babies, I don't know if we have any that we're gonna be able to find here. As long as they're down in here, they're not gonna get picked on. I wanted to wait an additional week before I put this video out just to make sure we didn't see the return of any bugs. And guys, we don't have anything in this tank. These fish have been doing their job, and I don't think anything has a chance at coming back in this tank. Doing some feeding down here right now. These shrimp love the protein shrimp kink food. Where is that stuff? This stuff right here. They love it all day long, man. With the water level a little bit lower, we start to get the ninja shrimp. They hang out up on the top leaves of the Pinatophyta. That's always really fun to watch. But this tank, I mean, just a week later, and you can see how much the Pinatophyta is growing. This stuff is literally a weed in this tank. So I need to get in here and do a bunch of trimming, a bunch of maintenance. Even the carpet needs a nice trim. But I gotta do maintenance in so many of my tanks right now, it's kinda overwhelming. Good problems to have though. I guess I, I can't really complain. So I guess the moral of the story or the point of the video, whatever, is that if you're having issues in your shrimp tank, whether it's something that is a big problem like planaria or hydra or you know anything that can pose a threat to the shrimp or even if it's something that's non-threatening like the copepod issue I had in this aquarium, adding some really small nano fish that are popular that people have experience with in shrimp tanks, that can be something that can really help you out. So don't hesitate to think about adding some nano fish to your shrimp tank even if you don't have any issues that the fish could help solve. They just, they add so much to the tank. This tank is so much more fun to watch and it will be even more fun to watch once I clear things out and we can see more of the fish and the shrimp. So that's what I'm gonna start working on now. I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. I think we're gonna be revisiting the desert tank over to my right here. There's some weird stuff going on in there, so we, we gotta talk about it. I gotta share that with you guys. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.